Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm an ed tech and curriculum consultant, founder of classtechtips.com, and a webinar host for Simple K-12. I want to share with you how you can navigate the formatting options within Google Docs. So I'm here in my Google Drive. I have already um, signed in. You can see me right over here. I can go here to create a new um, Google Doc if I want, but I have one started off for us here. So here I am within Google Docs, and you'll see up here there's a handful of options. We're going to scoom over to our Zoom. Now I'm looking at this in 100%. I could hit fix the screen and it would fill up the screen for me, or I could zoom in or zoom out depending on what I want to do. Um, if I want to change the text structure, like I'm writing something with a title, subtitle, heading, heading two, or heading three, I can go up here to the top and navigate there. For our sake today, we're going to keep it as normal text, but I'm able to tap on the font button and change the font if I want to change um, it to something a little bit different. You'll notice that the options that you use most frequently will pop up here at the top. The other options for font will pop up in alphabetical order. And if you want more fonts, you have the option to add more there um, as well, but they give you a nice um, a handful of options to pick and choose from. When I highlight here, I can change the size as well, so I can make something a little bit larger, a little bit smaller. If I highlight one word, I can make it bold, italic, underline, um, all three or none of the above. I can hit this tool and change the text to be a particular color. So maybe I want this to be a little bit coral text and then I can highlight it and have it highlighted in yellow in the background. So you'll see I can choose both there. I can also add a link. So if I wanted to highlight and add a link here, it'll give me the option. What's really cool is that whatever the word is, it'll start searching for examples of that word. So for example, if you typed in uh, something to do with a favorite app, like you typed in Class Dojo, it would search for Class Dojo automatically. Of course, you can put in whatever link you want here. Um, we won't add one for now, but that's how you're going to go ahead and do it. When it comes to your alignment, you can align left, I'm going to highlight, and we can align center, align right, or align justified. Um, what justified does is when you keep going, our first sentence is all about working in Google Docs. When I go to justified, what it'll do is it will highlight, and then when I justify, it will fill up the whole space. So if I centered, right aligned, and then justified, it'll scooch it out so that it fits across the hole. You most often will see left aligned. There's also the option to change the spacing from single to double space if you want there to be more space on the document. This more button is gonna take you to numbers, bullets, and indentations. If you click on the little arrow next to numbers, it gives you some different options. Same things with bullets. So as you jump into your Google Docs and you're navigating this um, formatting options, um, go ahead and play around as you explore to make the perfect document.